And we're back. It's Robo 47 time. The Great American Hope. A robot designed with atomic power. And its first mission, Subdue the Giant Monkey. I'm just going to use basic combos on him. He'll never see it coming, as he's blocking every single third hit. Alright. I do like the aesthetic of Robo 47. He also has one of the highest, I think, single jumps in the game. Like, just baseline. He also has many hidden tools in his arsenal that I have not done much of. Like that. He has drills! Drills that come out of his very hands and head. Well, let's get over to Tony McCoy and Eric Laver in The Revenge of Tugger. Now, this is the Revenge of Togura, but did we see the slight of Togura? Like, what made him want revenge? Nice. Good charge, dingus. Come back. Come down here. Don't make me use my long-range special. I'm doing it. Yes, he shoots a missile out of his head. It does good damage, it has nice range. The only issue is it can be blocked by buildings. I think it's too fast for them to simply outrun. And you might be able to lock on. I usually fire it before it gets all the way to that, like, noise. No, no, no. You see them go for the grab and you're like, oh, I shouldn't be blocking right now. And then you just don't let go. You just hold on <laughs> for dear life to that block. Huh? Get comboed on, kid. There is something of a fighting game kind of combo system where you can extend your combos to a point. But I never bothered learning exactly what combos can link into others. Hammered! Robo 47 also has one of the rapid fire long range attacks. You know, I wanted to do that, and then he did that, and it hit me. But that's just energy, it's not health. They, uh, we all know they only go after health. Locking. That fool! Using a building to get in my way? You'll pay for that. Row 47 was uh, the star member of the baseball team back in the academy days. Oh, that globe. I don't normally get this globe down. You can't pick it up, it's too big. Don't think about it. Ooh. Well, I'm going to die. But fortunately, I have more than one... Life? I'm a robot. Do robots have lives? Lives? I am invisible at the moment. So I'll use this time to take out these dinguses. I was hoping I'd charge farther. It's just a little tackle. He doesn't go ramming across the map. Ow. This is my only hope! Notably, Robo 47's heavy combo doesn't end on a big, like, swing that Nick knocks your opponent all the way across the map. That's a gruesome way to die. If robots could die. But you see, I have more than one model. I simply upload my consciousness, I mean my active 
awareness module <clears throat> into the next suit. Well, that took a little longer than I wanted. Hmm. But we head off to Outpost X! With the Vercox and Judas Carlin, I think the name was. I wonder if Robo 47, like his little speech, I wonder if that's uh, him saying something and then they just make it go in uh, reverse. You know, they just reverse whatever someone's saying. So it sounds really weird and robotic and alien. Seven's got some wide shoulders, you know. He's, uh, he's got a nice power stance. Look at that run. Turn on that last swing. Go army. I'm going to assume that's what he's saying. Oh, that was it. Very well. Sending in the big guns. Do you think that's Robo 48? Hmm? My big brother. I have to show you why I was a top member of the baseball team. Back in the academy. Or perhaps we play a little bit of football. Little brother, I am quite annoyed with your games. We all know who made the all-star team and who didn't. There's no need to be mad. Firing! Oh. Impossible. How could, how could he have dodged that? Firing! And the... Uh, ah! Then... Oh! You're lucky I wasn't looking. Oh. Yeah, because when I went up and tried to use my long-range special, I instead decided to do a ground pound. Uh, so I was wondering, oh, is that a combination? And I just now tested it, and that's why I was just jumping around doing nothing. Uh, no. No, that is not a button combination you can do. Little brother! Leave me alone for once! You're always on my back! Oh. Get hammered! Need big rock. It is the only way. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. I just refused to throw the rock. I couldn't do it. Not to my little brother. He's just misguided. If I can just get a moment of your time... Oh! I can show you the true way! 
We can travel the world. See so many things. It did have annoying friends. I never liked them. <laughs> Two can play at this game. Grr! <laughs> I, I didn't time that very well. Little brother! Time I sent you to time out. You know our parents always liked me more. You know it. Down, brother. It's for your own good. Just once my battery recharges. Thanks to the great taste of atomic energy. Yeah. You and I both know I had the better arm. sad. But it had to be this way. It had to be this way. It had to be this way. It had to be this way! Anyway, it's time for this fight. Oh, that was a nice little pose he does at the end of that. A little like, you know, that was a nice little pose. Grabbing motion. Nope. Okay. Oh. Oh, come on. You can't run forever, Kanga. You can't run from all your problems. Ugh. You and your girlfriend. Go. Well, that was a bit of a doozy. But fortunately, I have more than one model. You can keep a good robo down. Robo power! Robo power! You see, Robo 47 was uh, created using atomic power, which means an atomic missile uh, will have no effect on him. And now you meet your doom. And now you meet your doom. I missed. Um, I was hoping he dropped the thing that I impaled him with, but uh, he took it with him to the grave. Oh, not quite. Oh, Praetor, were you pray tell going for that? <laughs> Get up. Get up so I can hurt you. So it does lock on once you go all the way. Mm -hmm. This is what's known as the robot. It came from the skies with Laura Friedman and Judy Cohen. Not Colin, it was Cohen. When I said earlier, it was Judy Cohen, it was Judy Cohen. Um, so, uh, well, I seem to have been stunned. Boom! 
I wonder if they start with a special gauge that's full up or not. Because they don't ever seem to ever use their specials instantly. Oh, well. These things happen. These things happen, I'm afraid. Now, it is a fortunate thing that I do have more than one model. So I'm co <clears throat> So I'm come right back. I just... You know. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you impaled? With extreme prejudice? Locking! Firing! Down he goes. I'm afraid it didn't finish the job. You annoying little bird. I'm going to clip your wings. I mean, I don't want to have to waste my special on him, but he's kind of making me want to. I am out of juice. Well, these things happen. Firing! One down. Firing! Launch! <gasps> you shall die. Launching! Missile! Missile launch! Another one! Okay, we got him. We got him. Oh, good. It's the battle for Atomic Island. This one's so bad they don't even show the, the actors on the card, you know, the, the movie card. They don't even want to... The, the actors didn't even want to be associated with this one. I'm sure this level's fun enough in multiplayer or something, but good gourd is it not a good story mission. Also of note, Robo 47 doesn't bounce back all that much after a ground pound, like most others. Uh, which can lead to situations like this, where you get zapped after ground pounding. A lot of the others, when they ground pound, they'll like get up and like, back up a little bit. I don't know, maybe it's just because he's hammering things, instead of like landing on it with his back or whatever. The little things. Oh. oh. What? Oh. You'll pay for that, Atomic. Silo! Oh. Well, I don't know if I'll ever approach it ever again. Hmm. What's going on here? Now, now what is going on here? Don't mind me. I'll just lie here. Row 47 is unaffected completely by any sort of atomic explosions. American made and all that. Well, um, here we go. I jumped into all of that. Just hopping around. That was cool, huh? With the power of a super huge jump, Row 47 doesn't really take damage here. Oh. 
Oh, look at that. If you taunt twice, you this happens? I didn't realize that. You get the superpower. You supercharge. Or maybe that's only when you have full energy. And then you taunt, and then you're... For the next, whatever, seconds, you get power. I have never once done that. Because usually taunting uh, gets you killed. <laughs> so, huh. I've learned something. Never once in all the times I've played this game did I taunt while I had full energy. Whoa! Well, I wasn't paying attention. I guess we're gonna have to do another cycle. Oh well. I knew there was some reason why you would get, like, the glowing energy bar. I knew there was some reason. I feel like Robo47 also has one of the higher running speeds. I don't know. Maybe it's just how he runs, he makes him look faster, but... Huh. He certainly does have a long gait. Oh, you know what it is? If you ran out of all the things, I was, I've been mm, ruminating on this for a while. If you ran out of all the things to throw, that's why the special orb is here. You're just supposed to use your long range special. Yeah. 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 And two more throws to go. Oh, well, you know. Oh dear. <laughs> I I tried to, you know, bring it bring it back with the uh long range special, but uh, uh well this has been a the sloppiest run of this I've had so far. Well, it's good thing the health things do come back over time, so almost nothing to worry about at all with this. It's a very pleasant fun time experience. around some more. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh. I'm at low health. But we all know Robo 47 comes out in the clutch. They call him Robo 47 because he gets uh, four hits in the seventh inning every time. Every time he does. A grand slam he does. Alright, time for Robo 47 to meet the Robo's 40. Uh, Five and six. Older brothers, I've decided. Where are my oil trucks? Oh dear, I missed that. You'll never get me here. Not with my shield up. We 
recharging my battery a little bit. I'm just so low on battery power. But thanks to the power of atomic energy, it'll come back in a jiffy. And it's clean, too. No fumes. No waste. That's the beauty of atomic energy. Oh. You know, for once they didn't run for health the entire fight, and for once I died. So they might say. But I didn't. Because I have more than one Ooh. life. Or you might say, model, as I am a robot. He should have known what was coming. But unfortunately, he's outdated. And now I dance upon your grave. Alright, um, it's time for, uh, trouble, uh, I mean, terror, in paradise. Oh, Judy Cohen's in this as well? Ooh, look at that. As a supporting actor for this one, but... Alright, hello, here you are. Level 47 just attacks so often, he runs out of juice so very quickly. What if I just ignored Agamo, oh, like I usually do? <laughs> Magma! Magma. We all know where you're going, Magmo. I'm afraid I can't just allow you to do that. I, uh, I'm afraid I had to let you do that. Oh! There you go. Uh... Hm. Volcano! Erupt! Come to join me in the caldera. So very rare I get guests like you. Oh, yeah, right. They, they don't know how to jump to that. <laughs> oh, I tried for the quick fire. Oh, no, Magmo. I've let you live. And, and it was the price I paid. Down he goes. Magmo, you get the honor of being the last one standing. How do you feel? We'll just have to shoot him down, is what we'll have to do. Missile firing! Oh, well, well, well. I didn't hold the trigger. Come on. There you go. I'm 
hungry. Get him! Well, that was not what I wanted. <sighs> oh no. Oh dear. There's uh, no putting this thing back, is there? <laughs> Oh dear. Well. <clears throat> um. Uh. Magmo! <laughs> I, um. <gasps> Put it back! No! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you can put it back, did you know? Oh dear, dear, dear. All right, I've had enough time to, to, you know, just goofing around with the Robo 47 this run. And down he goes. His head on the corner of that building leaves a nasty bump. A time for the double V as we get into the final three. So Ultra V strikes me as like a heroic character, a la Ultraman. Uh, so I wonder why the movie poster makes it look like he's a villain. It could be. He could very well be, but I wouldn't think that. Not Ultra V. Anyway, this is good old America versus Japan in terms of their mechanical outports. Outports? Exports. Help me, I'm getting beat up. Help me. Oh yeah? You want a piece of me? I'll give him your what for. Oh, you know what? Ultra V probably is an alien technology. Robo 47 clearly was made in the 1940s. I mean, look at him. But uh, Ultra V looks like he could be a futuristic tech. A uh, rogue AI uh, giant robot sent to the past to destroy the world. And Japan had to call upon America to save them. Go, Robo 47! Save humanity! As only you can! Also, why is this city, this, this entire metropolis, on this little tiny island? Like, who, who designed that? Who thought that was, was a good idea? Oh! You have a sword, do you? Well, I have a missile. Um... I said... I have a missile. Gotcha. with Steven Larson. Hello. Yes, yes. If I just beat this guy up a lot, would he hold it against me? <laughs> <laughs> Or Gubilon, or whatever this stupid idiot's name is, they are not good. They are not a good character. I'll say this again and again, and when I actually play as them, I will say it again. And always. Their attacks are slow, they look stupid, and they're weak. They'll never make the team! I just never realized Row 47 has this massive energy issue. 
I've, I've just never noticed. He's always just out of juice. Can you guys stop interrupting my attacks? Thank you! Shields up. Oh my goodness. They just don't stop. They're so annoying. They just don't stop. No one likes you. Snipe jump. Give me old spinning hands. Oh, oh, I got one. <laughs> got one. Oh. Okay, how do I de uh de uh de 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 deactivate? Oh. Well. Spinning hand motion. No. Oh. You're lucky I had more than one life here. Otherwise, I'd be a little upset with how you've been treating me. And we head into uh, the final battle. The terror from beyond time and space! Robo 47, it is up to you. Save the world. for the forward pass. It has been invented, I'm sure. Ah, by now. No! Perfect working order. Why, the only thing that can get through its barrier is itself. And now, with this final throw, we can move on to the final phase. <laughs> Just the, the slowest throw. But you know what? That's how they get him. No one's ever been able to hit Robo 47's slow ball. It just moves so slow. Most uh, batters are trained to keep their eye on a fast ball. When your throw goes 40 miles per hour, they never see it coming. Bonk. Time to do the old AI strategy. Get health. And three globules, you know what that means? Pew! Missile time. Poop! I'm out of things. 
Oh dear. Oh hi. Activating bonk. Oh. His power is so great! Ugh. I'll have no choice but to charge headlong into him! Hand motion. Uh. Dangerously low on juice. Bonk. Oh, and the finishing thrust of my spear. And it's all over now. I would like to say, but it's never over when it comes to the terror from beyond time and space. He'll be back again and again to face yet another foe. Who will will? Now it is time for the awakening of. Robo 47! Does this imply that Robo 47 had consciousness due to the radioactive ooze? Decommissioned? Wait a minute. Now hold on. Now wait a minute. Robo 47, uh, the most advanced technology possible by 1940 standard, uh, was decommissioned? Also, why is the warehouse... Oh. <laughs> but why is the warehouse... Hmm? So much smaller than he is? Is it because they would wheel him out in a seated position? Probably. And he doesn't take kindly to cameramen. Alright. Next time is Ultra V... No, it's Agamo. Wow, Agamo. And Ultra B. Agamo. Yay, Agamo's next. Agamo. Agamo's next.